100 points is what you need to enter the kingdom of heaven. Do you think you have it? Let's find out. A man dies and goes to heaven, and as usual, St. Peter meets him at the pearly gates. St. Peter says, here's how it works. You need 100 points to make it into heaven. You tell me all the good things you've done, and I give you a certain number of points for each item, depending on how good it was. When you reach 100 points, you get in. Okay, the man says, I attended church every Sunday. That's good, says St. Peter. That's worth two points. Two points, he says. Well, I gave 10% of all my earnings to the church. Well, let's see, answers St. Peter. That's worth another two points. Did you do anything else? Two points? How about this? I started a soup kitchen in my city and worked in a shelter for homeless veterans. Fantastic. That's certainly worth a point, St. Peter says. Hmm, the man says. I was married to the same woman for 50 years, and I never cheated on her, not even in my heart. That's wonderful, says St. Peter. That's worth three points. Three points, the man cries. At this rate, the only way I'll get to heaven is by the grace of God. Well, come on in, says St. Peter. Of course, we know this is a joke, a story that someone has written to illustrate a point. But nevertheless, a point that many people miss today. It's a point that unbelievers and perhaps even believers don't understand. It is important for those of us who love God, we want to obey God, we want to keep His commandments, because this is what Jesus said, if we love Him, we will keep His commandments. At the same time, we cannot be legalists. We don't want to be Pharisees in the times of Jesus, that they did all the quote-unquote religious things, and on the outside, they look clean, but Jesus says on the inside, they were full of dead men's bones, and they were dirty and corrupt. It is a good reminder to ourselves that Jesus, you are the only reason why we can enter heaven, not because of what I've done, but it is because of your grace that when you died on the cross of Calvary, when I repent of my sins and trust in you, how great a gift it is that I can enter heaven because of that. And in response to your great love, God, today I want to live right. Today I want to live clean and pure. I want to obey your commandments. I want to share the gospel. I want to give to your work. I want to deny myself, deny my flesh, and pick up my cross and follow you, not out of legalism, but out of a love for you. Because do you know that both sides of the ditch is just as bad? If you believe that it is your works, the many good things that you've done that can earn your entry to heaven, that that's going to be wrong. But if you think that there's nothing you can do, and you can live however you want, just claim on knowing Jesus, that's just as bad. Today we need a mixture of the true gospel that says, God, I bring nothing to the table. You have offered me this free gift, but you said with this free gift comes conditions that I have to meet on my own. And that is to repent of our sins and to trust in Jesus Christ. And not only that, not a one-time thing, but to continually walk with Jesus and to obey Him. Because when we do that, we know that we will be ready for the coming of Jesus because the Holy Spirit testified with our spirit that we are the children of God. How great is that? For surely the Bible reminds us that we're saved by grace through faith. It is not a works lest anyone can boast. It is all by the grace of God. Thank you, Lord. May you and I continue to worship God because He is worthy. But when we worship Him, you have to make sure you don't make one mistake. And you have to watch this video right here where I talk about the forbidden worship in the Bible. But unfortunately, it's very common today. We don't want to worship God in this fashion. So go and watch this video. And also click like on this video right now and share with other people so we can get the word out. Get the gospel message to those who we need to hear it. God bless you.